Governor Ron DeSantis stopped here in Tampa and had a rally at this building behind me here. Most of them were law enforcement, and I spoke with some of his supporters who say they're going to stick with him, hoping that he can come out on top. Governor Ron DeSantis gets an enthusiastic welcome from supporters. Most in this room are law enforcement. His governance over the last four years uh, made me into an enthusiastic supporter. Scott Derby became a fan of DeSantis during the pandemic. Willing to stand up um, uh, for the people of Florida, uh, despite, you know, um, polls or um, uh, talking heads on TV. Um, he, 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 whether you agree with him or not, he seems principled in that if he believes in something, he will carry it out. We're very grateful to have him as our governor. And, you know, he's done a good job, you know, protecting us and our freedoms and the children. Ronald Sabello says it's time for someone new to take charge and thinks DeSantis is the right guy. You know, he's not afraid to stand up. I like it that he's younger. He's got a fresh mind. You know, he's definitely going in the right direction. These two supporters recognize that DeSantis is facing an uphill battle, that Trump still has a tight grip on the party and is leading DeSantis in every poll across the board. But they're hopeful that it's early in the political season and that DeSantis will come out on top. A lot of politicians, it's a lot of rhetoric less action. With him, it's much more action and, and less rhetoric. Again, the supporters I spoke with say they are worried that he is not going to be able to overcome Trump's lead, but they are hopeful that it's early on in the process and that things will start to change. I'm Jeff Van Sant for Spectrum News.